today's video is going to be me testing out a few products from Pat McGrath Labs. I'm so excited. I have wanted to try this brand for so long, but they are very pricey. I bought this stuff a little while ago now, as we all know, but I haven't had a chance to film this video, so I haven't touched any of it because I wanted to show you how exactly like luxurious it is. It's amazing. As soon as I opened the box, I was like, this is so beautiful. I have to like open it all for the first time on camera. They're such a famous luxury brand. It's something like I've wanted to try for so long. So I'm really glad that I finally did it. I finally treated myself and brought me some lovely things. Just a few things really, so shouldn't get you too excited. I got uh, three lip liners and two eyeshadow palettes. The eyeshadow palettes and one of the lip liners were on clearance, so they were a lot cheaper. The other two lip liners I think I got for 20% off in a sale that they had. So that's pretty exciting. I have never actually tried any Pat McGrath Labs products before, so I'm pretty damn excited to give these ones a go because I've heard such great things and they are very fancy, so you know, I have high expectations. But anyway, with that all being said, let's get into it. So, the eyeshadow palettes I'm going to start with because usually I do my eyes first and my lips last, so... That's what we're still doing today. I did the rest of my makeup first, as you can probably tell already. So yeah, let's start with eyes. Look at this packaging. It's like a rain stick full of sequins. It's just so freaking glamorous. So I got the two palettes. They're like the little mini ones. I bought these because they were like the cheapest things. They were, I think they were like $22 each or $23 each on clearance when I bought them, which is insane. I'm pretty sure they're sold out now though, unfortunately, or one of them might be sold out. But I bought these all off the Pat McGrath Labs website, by the way. Oh no! I think I need scissors to open them. Oh back, I'm getting scissors. <laughs> Got them. <laughs> okay, so I feel like I'm gonna just cut the top off. So exciting. Okay, I'm just gonna cut the top off and make all the sequins fall down so it's not a super big mess. This feels like wrong to cut something so beautiful. Anyway, this is the only way I think you can get it out. Ooh. Ah! Sequins still went everywhere. I'm just wanting you that. They're on me! Well, there's like a little booklet inside. And it just tells you like the contents and stuff. This is the Eye Ecstasy Sublime palette. You can see through it. It's got <laughs> plastic. I just painted my nails with this and I'm probably gonna chip them. Wow. Ah, there you go. Oh, it's stunning. Look at that. So this one's like a more neutral palette with that lovely red as well on top of that. And the other one I got is less neutral. sequin stock. Uh -huh. This one is the subversive palette. Ugh. God, it's a bit difficult to open for some people, like me. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh, yes. So this one is a bit more colourful. So it's called the Eye Ecstasy Sublime and this one is the Eye Ecstasy Submersive. Absolutely stunning if you ask me. So those are the two palettes that we are working with today. I'm just going to use, I think, colours from both of them just because I want like a little bit of a pop of colour as well as something like simple. So it's not going to be too difficult today because I do need to go and make dinner after this and it's already getting quite late. So let's get started. Just because they are all shimmery sorts of metallic shades, I'm just going to quickly pop into my Ofra eyeshadow in Truffle just to pop something in my crease, like something matte in my crease. So I'm going to go in with that fluffy crease brush and just pop this all through my crease and over my lid. There was something in your eyes when it clicked. Saw you standing in the back room with your tattoos and I knew I should have turned. Anyway guys, sorry about that. I just started doing something and my phone stopped working. But it's working again now, so I'll fill you in on what we missed. So I just ran the travel shade under my eyelids as well, which I did in the last clip, so you'll be able to see that. And now I've started taking this shade here called Illicit, and I've just popped that in my outer corners like so. I will say it is incredibly pigmented, and to go on with a very light hand if you're using these at home. Really 
So now that we've done that, I'm going to take this blue shade here, just on this flat shader brush, and I'm going to pop this over the majority of my lid. Oh, oops, sorry. The name of the blue shade is Lapis Luxury. You really do not need a lot for these eyeshadows. They are absolutely stunning and just so pigmented. Now that I've done that, I'm just going to quickly re-blend the dark shade and the other brown so it blends in a bit better. So now that's all done, I'm going to pop into this lovely shade here called Sextrovert and just with a pencil brush run this along my lower lash line and just blend it in with the colour I put on the outer corners so don't take it all the way to the end I'm also going to go in with the same brush just into this coppery shade and do the exact same thing with it. Looks a bit nuts, but we're just experimenting today, I think. <laughs> so now I'm going to take a small, fluffy, sort of flat shader brush and go into this first shade here called Sinful, and this is going to be my inner corner highlight. There we have that. And now I'm going to add a little bit more. I want to add some gold to the top. So I'm going to go in this shade here just with my finger. The shade is called Gold Nectar. And I'm going to pat this onto my lid just over the blue. Just to sort of tie it in a little bit. I think it went in a bit harder than I meant. But oh well. Just so it's sort of a bit warmer but still has like that blue. I just wanted it to match in a bit because I think I made it a bit crazy with the coppery coloured lower lash line. You can definitely still see the blue though. I think it looks really interesting actually. Layering them like that has kind of made it look like a duochrome. A duochrome is like where it like looks like two different colours when you like the light hits it differently. Which I really like that. I think that's nice. It's really different. Look at that. That was just what I had left on my finger. That are absolutely stunning. This palette has so much freaking payoff. It's insane. And I don't think I have any fallout considering they're all glitters. That's actually amazing. You know me. If there can be fallout, there is fallout. So I'm really impressed with this so far. Okay, I'm just going to blend all those colors in again and I will be back. I did all that blending and I also just popped my Bare Minerals Around the Clock eyeliner on my waterline and tight line sorry I lost some more footage because my phone stuffed up again which led me to look into my phone and find that I actually have a trash bin or like a trash can you know how you have like a rubbish bin on your computer apparently you have one of those on your phone in the photos area or at least apparently I do so I've just had like videos and videos that I've been deleting actually still being stored in the trash bin so that's why my phone is always full because it's full of shit <laughs> because the bin is full so my phone is always full so that makes so much sense so hopefully we will no longer be having technical difficulties hopefully we will see how we go anyway so I'm all blended and I've got my eyeliner on now I'm gonna chuck mascara on I'm just gonna use my flower beauty zoom in ultimate mascara curl my lashes and chuck on my Revolution Hydrate and Fix Radiance Makeup Fixing Spray and I'll do that off camera because you've seen me all do this before and then I will be back to show you the lip products that I bought. So now that that is all done I'm gonna go into lips. So I got three lip liners because apparently these lip liners are the most amazing lip liners in the world. They look pretty stunning in the boxes they come in. So this is the packaging that the lip liners come in. You see it's very arty and stuff. They're pretty glamorous. These two come with the little tie lock thingy on them and this one's just like a normal box. I keep open like that. So I got the shade Done Undone, Night Fever and Buff. So Done Undone and Buff were on sale and the shade Night Fever was on clearance I believe. I think it, this one still might be available. I'm not actually 100% sure. But they all come with their own sharpness in the boxes as well. They're very stunning. So this this is the Night Fever shade. It is a, oh, 
pretty dark magenta -y pinky shade. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow, it's like almost red. That's beautiful. So this one is done and done. Like a pretty nude pink. It's very normal for me. These are going on so creamy. Oh, they're absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And the last one, but not least, is Buff. I'm going to just pop this under. Oh, so that one's a bit more of a peachy, like orangey, warm pink. All the pencils come with these really cute sharpeners that actually say Pat McGrath Labs on it, which is gorgeous. We've got Night Fever, Done Undone, and Buff. I think because my eye look is so insane, well not insane, but you know, quite out there and colourful, I'm going to go with the most nude one, which is of course Done Undone. So I'm going to chuck this on now. So I love that. That colour is absolutely stunning. It went on so easy. Feels a tiny bit tacky, but these are meant to be really long wear lip liners, so that would be why. I feel usually the creamier they are, the faster they fade, so I think this is really good. I love this. Oh my gosh. These products are amazing. I think, in my opinion, it's worth every penny I spent on them. <laughs> Because that is a bit matte, but it looks absolutely stunning, like I love it, I would just want to chuck on a lipstick and I'm just going to use my Fenty Lipstick. It's the Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick, that's a tongue twister and a half, and I'm just going to pop it on, it's in the shade Makeout Break. I'm just going to dab this on because it's quite nude, just to give it a little bit of like a shiny glossy look. But there we have that. That completes the look for today. I am honestly pretty sold on these Pat McGrath products. I mean, I only had five things, but they're all amazing. Like, I love these eyeshadows. I really like this look. It's a bit different, but it's fun. I really like experimenting with colors at the moment. Like, I'm having a lot of fun in my last few videos, I think. I hope you're enjoying it too. It kind of, like, allows you to see the things that you can sort of create with these things. I am honestly considering buying more of her products, even though I really, really shouldn't. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what sales hit us up, because I think there are a few sales on Pat McGrath at the moment, or they have been anyway. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any of the products that I used or anything that I did, let me know, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And hopefully I will see you soon. Yes. One of them, the lip liners, the, the eyeshadow palettes, the eyeshadow palettes and the lip, one of the lip liners. Ah! Just instantly throw one. <laughs> and just use this to like, and just use this. Ow, what is this? I'm just going to go in with the fluffy. You know me. I always, if, I, if there's fallout, it is on my face. Well, obviously. So done on, so we have, oof, what do we have? Night fever. Oh, that's not it. I have, if you have any questions, 